Hey guys, I'm back and today I've got a pretty spooky video. I hope you like the spooky background. I thought it would suit the mood of this video. So I was playing on my phone the other day and I was looking through the app store and I randomly stumbled across this app called Sleep Talk Recorder. Basically it's an app that's designed to record your voice while you're asleep and it just records the bits where there's noise. Any quietness it cuts off so if you're snoring it'll record that but if you're just breathing lightly it'll cut that out and it stores them in your phone as sound files. And I thought, hmm, wouldn't it be a crazy idea to go to a hotel location and leave me phone recording and see what it picks up? But then I realised there's only a 2 hour limit of recording on Sleep Talk Recorder and I was like, oh no. So then I looked through the app store and I found another app called V Voice Recorder. Basically it does the exact same thing as Sleep Talk Recorder. The only difference is that it doesn't have any limits on. I've been messing around with the app already a little bit and it works really well. There's this really old graveyard that I live very close to. It's only a 20 minute walk from my house. It's a pretty spooky graveyard and it's got lots of history. I don't know the exact history but I know it's got some graves dating back to the 1800s. Maybe it's even older than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my phone and I'm going to leave it overnight at this graveyard. I have got this spare cracked phone here. I was originally going to use this one and install the app on. The only thing is it's got such an old version of Android on that pretty much no apps from the App Store actually work on this phone anymore. So this phone's out of the question. So it looks like I'm going to have to use the actual phone. And I'm very hesitant leaving it overnight in the graveyard. But if it's for a YouTube video, I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys. <laughs> I'm going to be using this old phone as a backup overnight while my actual phone's left in the graveyard. And then very early in the morning I'm going to go to the graveyard and retrieve it. Hopefully it's still there, hopefully it hasn't been stolen. I don't think it will get stolen though because this morning I went to the graveyard just to scout out a location to put my phone. And I think I found the perfect location. It's right at the back of the graveyard behind a grave. I don't think anyone's going to find the phone unless they were purposely searching the graveyard for phones but I don't think anyone's going to go phone hunting in the graveyard at 3am. <laughs> so anyway I'm going to cut the video here and I'm going to head off to the graveyard in a few hours. Hopefully the phone battery lasts all night, it should do because it's got a good battery life my phone. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Honestly. Please like and subscribe to this video because I'm risking my precious phone all for you guys. <laughs> anyway I'm going to cut the video here. And I'll see you all again once I'm on the way to the graveyard.
So it is currently 20 minutes past 12 at night and I'm on my way to the graveyard. This is the first time I've been out this late vlogging. I have been out this late before but not with a camera. So this is pretty nuts. I'm in the middle of a field right now. Anyway, I'm on my way to the graveyard and I'm really excited. I've got no idea what I'm going to record. Hopefully some paranormal noise. But I'm probably going to get a lot of wind noises and birds tweeting, animals. I didn't know if it was going to rain or not. So I decided to bring this glove along. What I plan to do is I plan to put my phone inside the glove with a microphone facing out. And if it rains, hopefully the glove will absorb some of the rain. My phone is water resistant, but that's water resistant, not waterproof. If it buckets down, my phone has no chance. Plus it might keep my phone warm and that means the battery not running out. That's always a plus. So I've got my phone open now. I'm not going to go in depth about how to use this software in this video, but I'll give you a little bit of an explanation. Basically this threshold bar here is the sensitivity thing. And if it's at zero, that means it picks up all sounds. But if it's at 100, that means it picks up pretty much nothing. Unless there was an aeroplane flying past, it would pick that up because that's pretty loud. And I've got it set at 5. It says anywhere from 3 to 8 is probably the best to record sleep sounds. It'll cut out all ambient sounds and all very quiet wind noises. But if there's a whisper or anything above a whisper, it'll record it. Obviously I could have put it at 0, but I didn't want to have a million recordings in my phone. So I thought 5 was the best number. I've also right now got my phone plugged into my power bank because I'm wanting to get as much charge on it as possible before I put it down because I don't know how much this app's going to drain my battery so I want to get my phone to 100% before I put it down so I've got as much charge as possible. First thing I'm going to do is put aeroplane mode on on my phone. Obviously I don't want to drain battery and aeroplane mode's going to help a lot with that. Also, obviously I don't want my phone pinging. I don't want Facebook messages and Instagram messages and all that stuff to come through in the middle of a graveyard. Imagine you're going through a graveyard at night and you hear do 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 <laughs> coming from the grave. You'll be freaked out. You'll think, oh god, there's some spirits who are high tech and using Instagram. <laughs> Nobody likes a high tech ghost. <laughs> I'm only joking. <sighs> It's going to be a crazy morning tomorrow when I retrieve that phone. <laughs> it really is. The plan is, is to go as quickly as possible into the graveyard, put the phone down and then leave because obviously I don't want to draw attention. I mean walking through a graveyard talking with a light in your face is pretty strange and I might get some funny looks so I'm going to be as quick as possible doing this. Anyway, here's the graveyard over the road. Let's go. Time for some spookiness. If there's any spirits here who want to communicate, I've got this little black box here and I'm going to put it behind one of the gravestones. I mean no harm, I'm just here to record evidence of the paranormal. I'm just doing a little project for this video here. I've got my camera and I'm going to put this phone behind one of the graves. And what I want you to do, I'm going to leave it here all night, what I want you to do is go right up to this box here and speak right into it. If there's any loved ones you want to say anything to, if there's a message you want to tell the world, please speak in at the microphone. I'm going to leave it here all night, from now until morning time. Thank you so much. I really appreciate any spirits who come forward and speak into this box. I've never done anything like this before. I mean no harm, I just want to record something. <laughs> I'm sorry that was a bit of a rubbish speech. But I'm a bit nervous. I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> Hopefully the spirits are going to be nice and come forward and say something into the microphone. It's pretty dark in this graveyard. There's probably not a lot you can see at the moment, but yeah, I'm going in. There is a location I picked earlier which had a lot of gravestones, and I think that's where I'm aiming for. This area here, I don't know if you can see, but there's lots of graves there. That's where I'm going to leave my phone. And I think I might choose, hmm, will I choose that one? I'm going to choose this one here because it's open and there's lots of graves surrounding it. I'm just going to put the phone down and I'll be back with you when the phone's down. So yeah, that's my phone behind the gravestone. And <laughs> I'm going to get out of here because it's kind of creepy and kind of dark and I just want to go home. Hopefully my phone records something. 
I don't like the fact I'm leaving my phone here overnight, but sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do. Yeah. Well, that's my phone for the night. <laughs> oh. So, it is the next day, and I'm on the way to the graveyard again. I'm taking a different route today. I decided to go through the woods, and this woods has been on a lot of YouTube videos before, like the banana and sprite challenge, and also the exploring the tunnel video. This is the first time this tunnel's been on my YouTube channel in at least four years. Sadly, the graffiti that was on that little grey panel over there has been removed, but oh well. I don't see why they would remove graffiti off an old tunnel. It's not like a posh building or anything. It doesn't need to look amazing. Yeah, the tunnel's only about 10 minutes away from the graveyard, so it's all the same area. This whole entire area is just like a treasure trove of Richie's vlogs filming spots. The time is currently 12.51 according to this lovely broken temporary phone. <laughs> As you can probably guess, I got to bed pretty late yesterday night, so I got up a lot later than I was planning to. So my phone's been lying in a graveyard about four more hours than I actually planned. I wanted to get up at about nine, but I ended up sleeping in at about 11 and now I've only just got out the door. It's like 12 o'clock. My phone's had a nice lie-in. If my phone was a human, it's had a nice lie-in beside a gravestone. <laughs> so I'm at the back of the graveyard where I put my phone and I'm trying to remember which gravestone I put it behind. Um, yeah, I think it might have been that one over there. Is my phone still behind the gravestone? Oh, it's one of these ones. I think it might be that one over there. <laughs> I've been checking a few of these gravestones and my phone's not behind it, so... It must be this one. Ah, look. It's there. It's there. Well, the glove's there. I don't know if the phone's there. Please be there. Please be there. Please be there. Yes! Oh, has it got battery on? Has it got battery? Has it survived the night? Oh, my God. 66%. Oh, my God. It's been recording all night and it's 66%. That's a Google Pixel battery for you. <laughs> Blooming brilliant. And it's still going. Look. The voice recorder is running in the background. Oh yes. I'm just going to stop the um, voice recorder recording. I've got no idea how much it's recorded yet, but when I get back I'm going to check that out. So yeah, so I'm going to stop the recording. And yeah, hope for the best. Oh, you've got no idea. I'm literally so happy that my phone's still in one piece and... <laughs> it's obviously blew over a little bit in the wind because the glove was lying on its side. Margaret, the beloved wife of Robert Simmons. Oh. I thought I would give you a little tour of the graveyard in the daylight while I'm here. I might as well since this is all part of the video. It's a pretty old graveyard, as you can see. Some of these gravestones are very, very, very old. Wow, look at that. Some of the graves have got vines grown up them, which looks so spooky. Look at that. That's like something out of a film. And I love how some of the graves are just in between the trees. These trees have obviously been here for hundreds of years. You can see some of the gravestones are a bit lopsided because obviously the roots of the trees have grown underneath them and pulled them about and stuff. But that just shows how old this whole place is. That's got damage to that one. And look at the vines growing up that one. That's so crazy. I can't help but just get like horror movie vibes being in places like this. It's like something out of a Stephen King film. Here's the front of the graveyard. That's a little outside building where they have functions and stuff. And that's the church. My nephew actually got christened in this church here. There's the bell and it goes through that hole there. And I'm sure it's activated from the inside. Here's the front of the church. It's just off the main road here. And I absolutely love those stained glass windows. They look so cool. Anyway, I'm going to head home, so I'll see you all soon. So, we're finally back home and a few days has passed since I went to the graveyard. And what a few days it's been. When I got in, I was literally only expecting about 200 recordings at the most. Or 300 at a push. But, I ended up having 2,739. As you can probably imagine, only 20% of the recordings were actually from about... 1 o'clock in the morning till 4 o'clock in the morning. And the 80% of the recordings were from like 4 o'clock in the morning till 
12 o'clock when I picked up my phone. For about 6 o'clock onwards, it just got very, very noisy because obviously that's when everyone wakes up to go to work. That's when all the birds come out. Most of the recordings were literally about three hours worth of birds tweeting. <laughs> so I dragged all of the audio files onto the computer. I had to sit for literally four hours sorting through all of the recordings. I managed to whittle down all 2,739 recordings into just over 50. I use this headset here to listen to the recordings. It's a really, really, really good quality headset. I haven't actually tested the microphone on it yet, but if the microphone is good, I will use it for narration in future videos. But the headphones on this headset are such good quality. Literally, you can hear every single little sound. Like if someone was in the graveyard and whispering from about 10 meters away, you would probably hear it with this headset because it's such a good quality headset. And they're pretty comfortable as well. I've got both a mix of funny recordings and of course the spooky ones. I do have to say, what I did capture totally blew us away. I got some pretty spooky stuff and I'm not going to give anything away just yet. You'll have to wait until that part of the video which will be coming very 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 soon. But I did capture some pretty creepy stuff and I did capture one thing which I can probably say, maybe, possibly, is some conclusive evidence of the paranormal and I'm really looking forward to showing you that. But first, <laughs> we've got the funny stuff. I do recommend if you've got a good quality pair of speakers or a good quality pair of headphones lying around that you put them on because some of these recordings are really quiet. I have edited some of these recordings because some of them are so faint you can barely hear them. But I still recommend you put on some good quality headphones or use some good quality speakers. So this is the first lot of recordings. These are the funniest bird noises I captured through the night. The graveyard's not far from a lake, so basically you get all sorts of birds. Pigeons, wild birds, swans, ducks. And I just thought I had to include some of the bird sounds in the video, so... Anyway, here we go. And that's it. What can I say? That duck must have knew there was a microphone in the graveyard because it was making an awful lot of noise. Maybe it's making its presence known. It's like, Hello world, I'm the Geordie Duck and I just want to say hello everybody. Hello YouTube. Hello mom. I'm famous now. He has another bird noise. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it for the bird noises. I mean, there was hundreds and hundreds of bird noises, but they were the best ones I could capture. Ah, hot chocolate break. As you can imagine, we're a public graveyard. There's lots of people walk through it. There's actually a footpath right next to the graveyard, so sometimes people cut through the graveyard to get onto that footpath. I managed to pick up some funny conversations and of course, some a lot of funny people-y noises. But yeah, we're gonna look through them now. I'm not really sure what that kid was talking about, but it's made in on a YouTube. I feel like I'm such a nosy person eavesdropping on some kid's conversation like that, but... I mean, what can I say? You leave a microphone in the middle of the night, you're gonna get curious at any conversation that comes up. I say, like, ooh, what they're talking about? If you're watching this conversation, random kid, your conversation has made it onto the internet. He has a sound clip of a man saying, yeah, 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 over and over again. It's kind of almost like he has the only word in his vocabulary, but it's <laughs> quite funny. I might as well do a lip sync of it for the laugh. <laughs> That was probably the worst lip sync ever, but it's quite funny. Imagine sitting for hours, searching for recordings, and hearing a random kid's voice going, Yo! Well, that's what I recorded. Yo. <laughs> it's literally just one yo. I mean, it could be a ghost, but I hate doubt it. If it is a ghost, that's a pretty cool ghost. So this is one of the funniest recordings. I got a right laugh out of this one. What happened is I think a family must have been walking the dog through the graveyard, and the dog came up to the phone and sniffed it. You can hear the voices, and then all of a sudden you hear, <laughs> Right up close to the microphone. Anyway, he has that recording. <laughs> oh. 
bet the dog thought, oh, there's a nice morsel of food there, and it wasn't a morsel of food, it was just my phone. Richie's Vlogs, making people and animals famous since 2011. There's this food fan that goes around every morning around that area, and it drops off food for people who are working. The tune that plays out of it is Stop Spreading the News. I wasn't actually expecting to hear it on me recordings, but I've got a few recordings of it. I mean, if anyone in the area had retrieved that phone, and they didn't know the area, and they were recording ghost sounds in the hood, they would be freaked out. But luckily I know the area and it's just a food van. It's no haunted stop spreading the news coming from a grave. <laughs> it also plays food glorious food which you can also hear. I do wonder what stop spreading the news has anything to do with food but maybe the photo just sounds good. Anyway here's the recordings of that. So on the last funny recording, and this one's a bit baffling because it literally sounds like a dinosaur roaring. I can just imagine it now, Jurassic Graveyard or something. I'm sorry to disappoint you everyone but this is not a real film. You won't see Jurassic Graveyard coming in the cinema anytime soon. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm just, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, you could say it's an animal like a cow or a horse in the background or something, but the closest farmer's field is quite far away from the graveyard. I mean, it could be anything, but to me it sounds like a dinosaur roar. Maybe the graveyard's not just haunted by spirits, maybe it's got like a million year old Tyrannosaurus Rex skeletons deep under the graveyard as well. <laughs> I mean, if that is the ghost of a dinosaur that died there millions of years ago, then I guess I recorded more than I bargained for. <laughs> so, that's the funny stuff over with. Now we're going to move on to the spooky recordings. Thank you to all the spirits who come forward and say something into me phone. And I'm going to come back tomorrow to retrieve it. So, if anything you want to say, just say it into that little box behind the gravestone. And I'll be back tomorrow to see what, you see, see what you've recorded. So yeah, that's my phone behind the gravestone. So guys, I'm finally onto the weird recordings. And I thought for this part of the video I would make the lighting look a bit more mysterious. So that's what I've done. I hope you like it. When I got to the graveyard, I did my speech, and not long after I had left my phone, I got my first weird sound. It's not much, but it's something. Take a listen. Now, it could just be the sound of the wind, but to me it sounded like more of a knocking sound. It almost sounds like a heartbeat. It's like a boom boom. He has a cleaned up version of the audio I did. You can hear it a bit better. But yeah, that was literally not long after I'd left. So yeah, there was a bunch of weird recordings through the night. I got loads of weird footstep sounds. Some of them sounded really close to the phone. He has a montage of all the footsteps I recorded over the night. Now we're getting on to the really good stuff. When I listened to some of these recordings straight off the phone, I didn't hear anything. But when I listened to them back on these good quality headphones, I could hear what sounded like breathing. Now I know it's not the wind, and I know it's not birds or animals or anything like that, because I pretty much know what they all sound like on the microphone. But this definitely, definitely sounded like breathing. I'm going to play the original versions of the breathing, and then I'm going to play the enhanced versions afterwards. Anyway, here we go. We've also got these strange sounds which are recorded through the night, which sounds like trains rattling or some sort of weird machinery or some weird sound like that. We've also got these strange sounds which are recorded through the night. Some of them are from really early on and some of them are from late on in the day. 
I didn't expect to capture anything weird later on in the day, but I did. Some of them, I can actually make out words as well. I guess when it comes to recording EVPs, ghosts don't have any limit on when they show themselves up. They just show themselves up whenever. Okay, here we go. That last one freaked us out a little bit. I mean, it could just be a kid because it was through the daytime, but it literally sounded like someone crying for the mum. I think that's why I included it in this part of the video because that was pretty creepy. It sounded like whoever it was was quite upset. If there's any young spirits in the graveyard who have lost the mum or something like that, then it's pretty sad. My heart goes out of them. Setting your phone up in some random location, you just don't know what you're gonna get. <laughs> so last but not least, we've got the spookiest recording of all. Now this one shocked us. When I first listened to the recording, I heard this very faint whisper and I was like, hmm, what's that? But then I put on these headphones and listened to it at a higher volume. Kid you not, it literally sounded like a voice saying, help me. I know it's the most ironic thing to get in the middle of a graveyard on a recording, but, but it literally does sound like it's saying, help me. You might need to wear headphones for this one because it's very quiet. I have put an edited version at the end, but I always want to include the original as well. If there's any good audio editors out there who can do a better job of editing the clip than me, then feel free to take it and mess around with it. But honestly, there's no doubt in my mind that the spirit scene helped me. I mean, it could just be the wind, and it could be a total fluke that it sounds like the words help me, but it just seems too coincidental. Anyway, here's that clip. I've honestly got chills just listening back to that. It's crazy. I think that one clip's made this video. I mean, I could have caught nothing all night and then we wouldn't have had a video, obviously, but I've caught a lot more than I expected. All that sitting around for hours, going through thousands of audio clips, getting nothing out of that would have been pretty devastating. But yeah, I've got something, which I'm really, really happy about. If you hear anything I've missed, either in the clips of his walking around the graveyard or the sound recordings I got, then please comment below because I'm really curious to hear your opinions on these sounds and also the funny sounds if you like them. Please like and subscribe to this channel. This video has took a lot of work to put together, but it's been really fun to do. And make sure you have a good ghost free sleep tonight. Peace out. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. I'm back and today I've got a spooky video. Hey. Hey guys. I'm back. Stop changing the exposure man. Hey guys. I'm really Hey guys, I'm back and today I've got a pretty... Mm. So I was browsing my phone the other day random. So I was browsing the phone. So I was browsing on... Oh, it's the bright I think it's very bright. Very, very bright. Yeah, man. Whoa, I've been messing around. I've been messing out. I've been messing around with that. Oh, man. It's got such an old version of Android. Oh. It's got such an old version. And the only thing is, it's got such an old version. Oh, man. Basically, it's an app that. Oh, come on, man. Take me spare in the night in the attic. Mmm. So, it is currently 12.23 minutes past night. Wait then, record. So, it's time to find a gravestone to put it behind. So, let's go. So, let's go. Goodbye, Fulton. First thing I'm going to do... Focus. Obviously, I don't want to dream. Hey, man, focus. What's wrong with you? Facebook messages in the middle of a... Why is it doing that? How is it having focusing issues when my face is very lit up? Focus man, what the hell's wrong with you? Hello? I think this camera's got issues. Oh, this is sucks. 
Should be instant. What the? Why is it not focusing? Something wrong with this camera, right? right. This mud has been in a lot of me. Oh, hurry, man. And talking to my friends about what I was doing and. Shut up! Trying to record a vlog, yeah! As you can probably guess, 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 as you can probably guess. I know this is not an outtake, but I thought I would show you anyway. A little bit of behind the scenes footage. I'm filming time lapses right now of the graveyard. And since it takes so long to shoot time lapses, <laughs> I've got me dinner with us. I've literally been here for an hour now and I'm still shooting time lapses. Making YouTube videos takes a long time. Blah, blah, blah. I did sort of skip through. I did. These headphones, you'll be like, like if there's a whisper, for... and the pretty's comfortable. And the pretty pool. <laughs> I don't want the SFK file, man, you're stupid. E -e 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 56 plus 50. I've got both. I've got. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, Rich. You can do it. You can do it when you're being cute. <laughs> that was unnecessary. Hot chocolate really helps with vlog block. The vlog block is even a thing. Got vlog block. Have a lovely hot chocolate. I feel like I'm such a nosy person eavesdropping on someone. Eavesdropping. I feel like I'm such a nosy person eavesdropping. Oh, come on! If you're watching. Shut up. So, guys, this is the end of the outtakes. I thought I would end the outtakes personally because it's a video all in itself. I hope you enjoyed these funny outtakes, and yeah, I love this lighting setup. <laughs> this has been fun.